Hey there, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be doing another coffee machine review. Now, in my previous videos, if you have watched it, I actually created na a coffee machine review for the DeLonghi EC230 Stilosa machine. That machine is only 8K and I created a review of it and also uh, gave my thoughts if it's good for a coffee business. So if you haven't watched it yet, it's here. You can look for that here in my channel. In this YouTube account, I talk about business, specifically coffee business, life skills, and lifelong learning. So if you're interested with those, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for my upcoming videos. So in this video, I'll be doing a review of the Brevier Barista Express, which is this machine. And in my previous video about the DeLonghi Stilosa, I evaluated or did a review based on four criteria, which are quality and functionality, affordability, ease of use, and the design. The same thing, I'll also be using this for criteria as I evaluate this Breville Barista Express. And also, I'll be sharing at the end of the video my thoughts about using this for a small coffee business. Would it work? Uh, what are the pros and the cons if you use this for a coffee business? So, this machine has been with us for almost a year already. We have two machines here in the cafe. One is we use every day for our um, everyday service here at the cafe. It's a commercial type. Of espresso machine well this one we use this for our coffee cart so not really every day and we only use that if we have events now if i could remember back then when we were still um starting out no 2018 or basically 2017 nung bumi, nung bumibili kami ng for the cafe we were actually looking for this machine kasi malit lang and also it's affordable back then this was just around uh still the same at around 40k or 39,000 and it already has a grinder with it okay however hindi namin siya binili for our cafe kasi back then itong breville wala pa silang service center here in cebu and also there's no access to tools in case there would be needed repairs so just imagine nasira yung machine tapos walang mag-aayos anong mangyayari <laughs> magiging cafe na walang kape so kind of weird right so what we really did was just we invested with a commercial type of espresso machine. And of course, worth it naman siya. So with this machine, we bought this for our coffee cart just last year, 2021. Specifically for the coffee cart, if you're not familiar with coffee carts, yung coffee cart kasi is we bring coffee to the events. So meaning we brew right there sa event, let's say weddings, baptisms, birthdays. We bring the cart and we bring the machine and we really brew the coffee there. And what's nice with this Breville Barista Express is that medo na siyang kasamang grinder. So when we transport, hindi masyadong marami yung bit bit namin. Hindi na separate gr separate grinder tapos separate pa na espresso machine. So that's why we opted for this na. And also, just recently lang, I think 2020, when I asked Breville, they already have a service center here in Cebu. So, works for us already. In case masira to, at least we know now where to call. That's why we bought this Breville Barista Express. Okay, so I'll show to you how it works and the parts of the Breville Barista Express. Right, so I'll show to you now ano yung kasale when I bought the Breville Barista Express. So, of course, the machine with the grinder. Tapos, meron siyang kasamang knockbox. Care of Breville. So, if you don't know the knockbox, this is where we knock. <laughs> the used grounds usually dito okay and then also kasali na yung steam pitcher this is where we put the milk to steam so gravel na din siya and also meron siyang kasamang um, tamper ito so it's magnet here. and also meron din siyang mga extra na mga porta filter basket so this one is for the double dual wall and then this one is um, non-pressurized na single single basket. Kaya lang nawala ko yung dual wall na single. I don't know saan ko nilagay. But yeah, but what I'm usually, yung ginagamit talaga namin is a non-pressurized double basket. So, parang constant na siya here. Kasi for me, let's say when you use it for business, mas efficient na you use the, the double basket. Or sa, uh, sa isang shot mo is to two shots na, or sa isang pool mo na espresso, two shots na, it saves you time. Okay? Right. So, 
parts ng Rebel Barista Express. So, you get familiar also. Um, most ng machines, they also have the same parts. No? So, ito yung programs niya. Turn on and then yung grind amount. Yung um, filter size for single, ito, and for double, this one. And then this is already for one shot and then two shots. What's nice with the Breville Barista Express is meron ng factory setting. So if you don't know how to really get an espresso, you can just use the pressurized or the dual wall, ito, pressurized basket. So maybe I'll make another video what's the difference between pressurized and non-pressurized basket, no? so you'll understand. But if you're not, if you don't have really extraction scale, th this machine can still work. Just use the dual wall or the pressurized basket and just um, follow the program dito sa Travel Barista Express. So, para pindot ka lang dito for one shot and then ito for two shots. So, you can actually program this, especially when you dial in every time you have a new espresso. And I'll perhaps make another video on how you can dial in using the Travel Barista Express. So, ito yung Steam one. This one. And the steam one can actually create very good silky milk. So, pwede siya. And yung grinder niya, it's a burr type of grinder. And it's until the number 16, the grind. And also, gusto ko yung pagka-fine ng, grind, ng grinder dito. Pagka-fine ng grind ng grinder. Anyways. So, other things that I bought na hindi kasali sa package would be this distributor. Ito yung parang um, always dapat meron. <laughs> when I get a shot of espresso distributor and a tamping pad, okay? And then, yung tubig niya is, um, this is for home use talaga, yung Breville na brand. Yung tubig niya nasa likod. So, you just have to pull this up, okay? And, meron naman siyang indicator as to the minimum and maximum. So, minimum is 250 ml. Yung maximum capacity niya is uh, 2 liters or 2,000 ml. So, this is where you put the water. Tapos, refill, refill na lang if below the minimum na siya. Okay, so let's get an espresso from the machine. So from the Rebel Barista Express, the long shots ito. So a bit many and beautiful crema. So with regards to dialing in, um, easy. Itong Rebel Barista Express, very flexible. And also compared to the DeLonghi EC230, much easier ito. Kasi once na dial in mo na, you can just program. Di, hindi ka na pa ulit ulit na mag, mag the timer. Okay? And ang... Um, so for me, that's a plus with this programmable Breville Barista Express. Next, we go to the Steam Wand. So this is the Steam Wand of the Breville Barista Express. Very powerful. Kaya lang, it would take time na mag-steam siya. So usually when we steam, or not really usually, but the procedure or the order or the SOP, if that's the term, when you steam um, a milk, no, you have to purge first yung steam one. And usually, kapag espresso machine na mabilis, is when you click the steam, it will already steam. Ito, hindi pa. <laughs> it takes time. So, you would hear that sound. So, that was around 10 to 15 seconds. So, that's the first purge. Okay. Then, turn off. Then, that's the time na you steam your milk. Okay. So let's try to steam milk. 
And then, hindi ko siya i-fast forward ha. So, you would see like how many seconds or minutes it would take to steam milk. So, I'll purge. Again, when you click the switch, you have to wait. <laughs> So it would create a sound buna. So you know it's steaming kasi ito. It's clicking. Okay, first purge. Okay, I'll turn off. And then I'll put now my uh, steam pitcher with milk. I will now steam. And Unlike yung mga commercial na espresso machines, usually, when you turn on and put in the milk, uh, it starts to steam na ito. You still have to wait and really try to find the vortex. So, medyo mahirap ang um, pag-find the vortex. So, really good. Namove ko siya. <laughs> and, um, unlike yung mga espresso machines na mga 8 to 10 seconds, Mainit na yung kape. Ito hindi pa. How would you know if the temperature is already good? You can use a thermometer. 60 to 70 degrees for the milk. Ideal temperature. If not, you can use your hands. So if you cannot hold it for like 2 seconds, that's it na. again okay. so mga ilang seconds ba yun and here is the milk and then it's okay naman siya I don't know if you can see let's try let's, I'll try to so down paano ba to there it's actually silky naman okay so let's try to evaluate now if Based on four criteria, ano ang score ng Breville Barista Express? First criteria, quality and functionality. For me, it's 9 over 10. This machine can create good espresso. It can create good, great silky milk. It can be programmed. No, you don't have to manually time your espresso every now and then. Programmable siya. Meron din siyang factory na, na setting. So if you don't want to dial in every time, you can just stop on the factory setting. So, quality and functionality, 9 over 10. Nasan yung minus 1? It's on the number of seconds <laughs> that I need to wait for me to steam milk. So, sometimes kasi I'm getting impatient. Or sometimes pag we use this a coffee cart and maraming nag-order ng hot drinks, na peer pressure ako. <laughs> kasi ang tagal niyang mag-steam. And I'm used to our uh, commercial machine na ang bilis lang. Isang on mo lang sa steam knob and it's already steaming. Ito, you still have to wait, di ba? You've seen naman previously. So, yun lang yung minus niya. But overall, 9 over 10. Second criteria, affordability. For me, it's 10 over 10. Even though it's much expensive compared to the other cheaper brands, yung cheaper brands kasi na 8K, 10K, 12K, 15K, those are um, not programmable either or gumagamit siya ng... Um, Pressurize port the basket, which will not enhance your uh, extraction scales. And also, perhaps yung mga mura, yung steam one nila is not like this that can make a silky milk. Somewhat yung ma makapal that could create cappuccino. But this one, it's at 40k. It's much cheaper compared to the commercial type of espresso machine, but yung functionality niya is almost the same. So this basically works like. Uh, a commercial type of espresso machine. Kanya lang, single boiler siya. So, it somewhat takes time to create espresso and steam milk. Pero, value for money talaga kasi kasali na yung grinder. So, if you buy a separate grinder, that would cost you, I think, 5K, 10K, 15K, depende sa brand and depende sa quality. So, with this one, 40K grinder that can create good espresso, uh, good steaming one, Kaso, it would take time lang. Kaya, meron siyang minus sa quality and functionality. But, um, this really works. Like, for 40k, it's worth it na. Ease of use, I'll give it 9 over 10. 
this is actually easy to use. Yung one point lang yan na missing is that you would need scales, <laughs> barista scales for you to really extract. Kaso, however, one point lang naman yung difference kasi this is programmable. So, pwede din naman na instead of you extracting every time, you just use the program na nasa, yung factory program niya, and you just click the single and the single shot and the, and the double shot. Kanya lang kasi, it's really advisable that every time you buy a new batch of beans, you always dial in. Kasi iba-iba yung oiliness, no? and then the freshness. So, it iba-iba yung number of seconds and also the in and out ng espresso. But overall, this is actually easy to use. You just have to learn lang the basics and perhaps when you buy this, magpa-train ka na lang kung saan mo binili. I think they also do that for Breville. Then for the design, for me, it's 10 over 10. Kasi it's not compared to the one that I reviewed last time, which is made of plastic. Ito naman hindi. <laughs> it's not plastic. So, maganda yung design din niya. With, this is just really very small. And when it... But pero na siyang grinder. So, very sleek. And works for us that we use this for coffee carts. So, we don't bring anymore a lot of things. No, separate grinder pa. And somewhat it would take space pa sa coffee cart namin. Which is a bit small also. So, with, with the design, 10 over 10. So, overall, that's around 38 over 40 for our Breville Barista Express. So, for me, overall, itong machine ito, worth it siya with the price. It functions like an espresso machine, really, for commercial use. Kanya lang, it takes time. So, going back to the question, if would this work ba for a cafe business? My answer would be depende sa number of cups na estimate mo sa cafe mo. This one, we use this for our coffee cart business. But then, we don't do coffee carts every day. So, hindi masyadong bugbug yung machine. Compared to, you use this in your store, and then, let's say you have more than 20 cups per day, medyo bugbug na to. And remember, it would also take time to uh, steam and also to... Uh, get a shot since it's only a single boiler so you also consider that with the traffic no and when you serve orders for your customers so with regards to the quality of espresso pwede talaga siya sa cafe or in coffee shops however tatalunin siya sa durability and sa turnover niya into making drinks Kaya ba niya na maramihan, no? Let's say you have 100 cups per day. I think talagang mabubugbog to. So in 3 months or in 1 month, baka masira lang siya. Also, to add, I asked Breville here in Cebu, what is their uh, warranty for this one? And they said 1 year for personal use, 3 months for uh, commercial use. So it just goes to say that this machine is really not made for commercial type. Pero pwede talaga siya. So, either na lang, you just decide na, let's say, you just estimate a useful life ng machine na to. Let's say, hindi mo pa afford yung very, very expensive espresso machines. You can buy this for the meantime. But make sure you have specific date na you'd be ready to buy a new machine. Kasi kung gagamitin mo siya everyday, mabububog to, eventually masisira siya. So, you have to buy a new one. So, yun lang, yun lang naman yung iway mo. So, you buy now kasi cheaper and then you save for a, a new one. So, make sure you'll be ready by then to buy a new machine which is already for commercial use or another like this. <laughs> or you'd, oh, you'd be ready for the mga wear and tear and mga repairs niya. Alright, so that's my review for this Breville Barista Express. I hope it helped you in considering if you'll buy this machine or not. If you have other requested videos about this machine, maybe you want me to show to you how you can dial in or anything about coffee business, life skills, and lifelong learning, let me know in the comments. I'll try to consider them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!